Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. And today we want to bring you another show of empowerment. Our mission on Pinoy Power Hawaii, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. We want to thank, first of all, Think Tech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to be here to uh, spread our empowerment. Uh, today we have a returning guest, and uh, she's no stranger on camera. She's been around a lot because of her reign as Mrs. Hawaii Filipina uh, Queen Sarah Luz Hosaka, and she's brought her entourage. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I know that we have a lot to uh, discuss and talk about because mm -hmm. this is an exciting event coming up. Yes, uh, correct. Tell us. Yes, you know, and thank you so much, Ate Emmy, for, for bringing me back and my husband and our guest here. Yes. And I just wanted to take our, this opportunity to really um, thank you for that. But yes, it's we have definitely, pleasure. definitely mm -hmm. we, have, um, we have an upcoming event. November 1st, um, mm -hmm. we're featuring Gabi Conception all the way from the Philippines, and we call it Gabi ng Pagbibigay. It's so appropriate. It's, yeah, yes, definitely is a night Gabi of giving. Gabi with Gabi. Yes, yeah. Gabi with Gabi is a <laughs> night yeah. of giving. Mm -hmm. So it's a benefit show. Um, doors open at 6.30. Mm -hmm. And this um, um, it's, um, proceed goes to um, benefit... Uh, medical mission as, as well as the charity mm -hmm. back in the Philippines organizations. You're right. Yes. Uh, before we go on to uh, one of our main uh, components for the uh, event, mm -hmm. uh, let's reintroduce our king. Uh, why, why are you here, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm again supporting. I'm kind of behind the scenes, mm -hmm. quietly helping with, you know, the event, a great event with a, yes. obviously a great cause, and mm -hmm. I truly believe in it also. So I'm kind of behind the scenes helping out and mm -hmm. becoming a part of it there. So. Well, any support we can get, whether it's moral, mm -hmm. uh, of course, financial is a big sure. part because uh, that's our main uh, tool of trade, right? right? Yes. To mm -hmm. help others. Yes. Uh, so are you excited? I am. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Uh, to go back to the Philippines? To go back and mm -hmm. to see where all that hard work has gone to. And, mm -hmm. you know, that, like, you know, empower, empowerment, you know, mm -hmm. empower them, uh, less fortunate, I think would be just um, great to see. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what we all have mm -hmm. in our hearts when we do this. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, presenting the actual donation is like the icing and the cake. Yes. Uh, to be able to see it uh, yeah. go through directly mm -hmm. to the people that are intended for. So, mm -hmm. um, I wish I could be there. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, but we will, yeah, we, we will talk somehow. about yes. Okay, so we have a very uh, important uh, component, ingredient. Um, <laughs> tell us about Isabel, right? Isabel. Okay. Yes, okay. I'm Isabel Fu mm -hmm. from Santo Domingo, Ilocosor. Uh, I'm the president of our organization. This is um, uh, my second term, and this is actually our third um, medical mission wow. to our town. Mm -hmm. And we're grateful to Sarah and Jimmy that mm -hmm. they choose our organization to um, to sponsor. Mm -hmm. And she actually wants to come and visit our town and participate with our medical mission. Isn't that amazing? Um, you know, when we think of Santo Domingo Locosor, I think of the great um, leader who's always uh, willing to share his rags to riches story. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm referring to engineer, founder, uh, Lito Alcantara, mm -hmm. for uh, all That's the great. hard work and dedication, of, of course, he's always willing to share. Wow. Uh -huh. And yeah, you are correct, Atemi, because um, Tata Lito actually mm -hmm. is always our main sponsor. Mm -hmm. And our medical mission um, last year and this coming um, January, mm -hmm. it'll be held at his hotel, Westlock West Park, Park Hotel in hotel. Santo Domingo. Yes. And um, it's a privilege actually because we will be working not just with Sarah, but mm -hmm. also Tata Lito uh, Alcatraz's granddaughter, mm -hmm. Millicent, who is the president mm -hmm. of Rotary of Magsingal. Wow. And she came up to me and she asked me if, you know, they could help us and mm -hmm. why not, right? <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be your third year of doing this medical mission. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit, Isabel, about what it entails, 
Ano anya ti digay na dumadu mga preparation? Sino digay tay tulutulongan nyo? Yeah, well, mm -hmm. we basically concentrate in just our town mm -hmm. of Santo Domingo. But of course, if we have any neighboring town that mm -hmm. you know they hear about it, they ride the tricycle mm -hmm. and they come. Mm -hmm. We are not gonna turn them away. Mm -hmm. Everybody is welcome to the medical mm -hmm. mission. And um, the first one, actually, we, we had it with uh, Ohana Medical Mission. That was in 2015. Mm -hmm. And last year, uh, we kind of, like, you know, wanted to try it on our own. Mm -hmm. So it was just all the Santo Domingo organization. And our friends, our kakailian from mm -hmm. um, different states. We had people from California, New Mexico, um, Michigan, mm -hmm. Las Vegas. And we all came together. And that was actually a very successful two days. We had two days of medical mission. Okay, so it was more of an international involvement, it's right? Almost, yes. Mm -hmm. it all the they came uh -huh. together so, si for one pita. reason. Si uh -huh. We, you know, like, we emailed each other mm -hmm. and um, uh, we kind of like, um, you know, we wanted to give back mm -hmm. to where we came from, to the less fortunate. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, to me, it was, um, you know, it was such a nice, great feeling mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. to give back, you know, mm -hmm. like makita mm nagiti -hmm. papaket at the mga nag tricycle. Mm -hmm. It's okay to speak Ilocano. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. what we're all about. Yeah, mm -hmm. one one lady actually, mm -hmm. she came riding the tricycle. She couldn't walk, so uh, we didn't have a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. So our delegates, nangala mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. they had the lady sit down on the chair and mm -hmm. they carried her. To the doctor mm -hmm. and you know so. and um actually it was not just us also our um provincial you know vice um, governor mm -hmm. came to help nice. and um at one point actually we couldn't help the patient mm -hmm. so um vice governor jerry singston actually sent them to the hospital and just they just tell them my name mm -hmm. and wow. he, he even came to the medical mission mm -hmm. and um, helped distribute um reading glasses nice. mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was Sir Jerry. He has a very generous heart, mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. So uh, that lady that could not walk, did you eventually uh, buy her and provide her a wheelchair? We, uh, we gave her medication that she needed. Mm -hmm. And at that time, no, we didn't give her uh, a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. But um, hopefully we will have enough fun, maybe, and we will be able to help more of the needy. And mm -hmm. for this next medical mission, mm -hmm. actually, we are planning to go more on the rural area. Mm -hmm. We we already have a mobile that we borrowed from or rent from mm -hmm. the government, and um, I'm in talk with um, Congressman's um, mm -hmm. Sabiliano. Oh <laughs> so, yes, yeah. yes, Sabiliano. Yes, yeah, so um, from Kabugao. Kabugao. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we're working with uh, with his daughter mm -hmm. and Millie mm -hmm. Sent. So mm -hmm. we will have a mobile to wow. go nice. to the to rural different. area and do like we couldn't provide dental last time, so mm -hmm. this time we will because we had a lot of um, patients that were asking for dental. Yes, That's so nice. that seems to be a common need. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. we only are given uh, a set of teeth unless you're lucky to regrow another, <laughs> <Yes>. right, Jimmy? <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. So it has to last us for mm -hmm. a lifetime, mm -hmm. whether you're lucky enough to live. For you know, ninety years, years like yeah. my my yeah. my Mahal, you know he's on triple bonus time. Yeah, so that set of teeth gotta last, last us, and mm -hmm. uh, that's where mm -hmm. dental care is very very important, yes. right? Mm -hmm. so, and of course important. nutrition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we provide a lot of uh, multivitamins to the adult and to the children mm -hmm. as well. And at the end, actually, of our uh, medical mission, we had leftover medications. Mm -hmm. So. As delegates from Hawaii, what we did is we split up all the leftovers because each barangays they have their own clinic. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, you you know, since we work to help to bring the medical mission, mm -hmm. we brought all those extra medication to our own barangays mm -hmm. so that you know whoever yeah, couldn't right. come they can go and. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah we. Really I can relate to what you're doing because we too uh, partnered with. Uh, uh, not the Knights of Rizal, but uh, an organization uh, that are full of men. I can't really think of the name right now. I mean, <laughs> but anyway, we went to Cainta Rizal. Okay. And uh, from the morning when we opened at 7 o'clock, they were lined up already early wow. in the morning. You are right. Yeah. And uh, 
You know, we went through over 1,000, maybe closer to 1,500 patients that mm -hmm. came in uh, throughout. Wow. And uh, even when we were closing by uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, people were still lining up because wow. they, heard, yes. they heard of the news. Wow. And then we had the uh, on-site circumcision. Mm -hmm. Not mm. only for the children, Jimmy, but even for adults oh. that are wanting. And, yeah. uh, you know, that type of uh, uh, procedure, Pre normally uh, yeah. you got to go to a hospital, hospital. right? Yeah. Over here. Yeah. 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 Over there, they just took the scissors and they cut. They, uh, <laughs> you know, they put a little bit of alcohol and, uh, you know, it. fold it back and stitch it back up. And there you go. Yeah, we, we actually were... Planning to, um, to uh, procedure. offer that, but it's because during school season they don't want the kids to be, be out. absent. Yeah, oh. normally so, summertime, yeah, I believe. Uh -huh. Yeah, so mm -hmm. because we kind of change our dates to, yeah. to, to January. Mm -hmm. But that's December. common too because yeah. I, I mm -hmm. realized that hey, not everybody is circumcised, you right. know. Just, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, the uh -huh. is still there. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. wow, that's, wow. But you are right when. Um, the first day we actually we had the radio station bom bombo radio, bombo radio. Bombo radio mm -hmm. right and so when words mm -hmm. come around they they hear and then they come oh. yes and so even during lunch break you know we close the door because the workers need to eat but they can break you can right? actually turn them around mm -hmm. away yeah. so we just let them sit down mm -hmm. give them water and mm -hmm. it was really convenient because uh, Natalito and um, the Oi's family, they mm -hmm. have the hotel on one side of the road and then the supermarket, big way, mm -hmm. across the street. So they're, we they're ran out of water. Yes. So, wow. Wow. <laughs> so we pretty much like, you know, had... Because it was in May. So imagine, right? Oh, it was hot. so hot, hot in May. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to have them hydrate Hydrated. because otherwise they uh -huh. would just... Just... Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, and right. it was really uh, great to do uh, the medical mission there. Um, Tatarito's um, daughter, mm -hmm. Bing, mm -hmm. actually, at one point, she went to get all their ice cream, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just to get mm -hmm. the popsicle mm -hmm. back. In waras, to waras, give, na wow. Na wow. Na. So okay. it was really a blessing mm -hmm. to, to have them, the Oi family, right. the Alcantara family, That's awesome. to um, help right. support. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's was that nice. ice cream ube? Because that's my no, favorite. No, they had those nuts, <laughs> uh, magnolia. Magnolia. And, yeah. okay. <laughs> Jimmy, if you yeah, haven't yeah, had, had, if those, you haven't had oh. ube ice cream uh, chocolate covered, you got to get it. <laughs> I've had magnolia. That's good. <laughs> well, it's good we have magnolia now here. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But over there, it's like the sorbet is coming yeah, around. It's like a, oh. it's, yeah. The street it's vendor, street. Uh -huh. I remember. Yeah. yeah. Reminds me of my small kid time. Childhood, mm -hmm. no. So, uh, you know, you, you folks uh, are getting sponsors. Yes, mm -hmm. we are. You know, and we're, we're blessed. We're partnering with you at the Emmy. Mm -hmm. Thank it's you so always much. a pleasure. You know. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's really where it's overwhelming. Um, I'm receiving a lot of overwhelming support from the organizations, also in the Filipino community. Mm -hmm. um, I can really feel the love, the support, and um, we have Nana Etrata, of course, mm -hmm. um, are one of the major sponsors. You know, your partner, Tepresso, is actually, Atinifa is actually our mm -hmm. um, major sponsor as well. All we right. have um, Her Creations by Glory. Mm -hmm. um, we have Amazing, Amazing, Touch, by, um, Amazing Touch Beauty Salon. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have, like, Nayong Filipino is one mm -hmm. of our sponsor as well. And we're partnering with you. We're partnering with KNDI mm -hmm. and the Phil Amp Courier. Mm -hmm. And um, who else? I don't want to miss anybody. <laughs> and everyone that's sponsoring um, us. Very yes, um, we are blessed um, to have these um, supporting sponsors and partnering with mm -hmm. everybody. So uh, we're, we're, we're three so three stars yes. actually is one. Thing. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, uh, we're going to come back. We will come back with uh, more empowerment after uh, this short break. We're talking with. Uh, the reigning UFCH Mrs. Hawaii Filipina, and of course Isabel is the president of Santo Domingo Ilocosur organization. Mm -hmm. And King Jimmy is here uh, doing all the uh, background support uh, and also uh, your support morally and financially. We appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> we will be right back. Thanks to our Think Tech underwriters and grantors, the Atherton Family Foundation, 
Carol Monlee and the Friends of Think Tech, the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education, Collateral Analytics, the Cook Foundation, Dwayne Carisu, the Hawaii Community Foundation, the Hawaii Council of Associations of Apartment Owners, Hawaii Energy, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum, Hawaiian Electric Company, Integrated Security Technologies, Galen Ho of BAE Systems, Kamehameha Schools, MW Group, the Scheidler Family Foundation, the Sydney Stern Memorial Trust, Volo Foundation, Yuriko J. Sugimura. Thanks so much to you all. Welcome you back to Pinoy Power Hawaii, and uh, we really appreciate the help of Think Tech Hawaii for allowing us this opportunity to come to your home every other Tuesday at 12 noon. Uh, so today, it is another empowering moment to uh, bring back our reigning UFCH Mrs. Hawaii Filipina, the beautiful uh, Luz Hosaka, Sarah Luz Hosaka, and of course, uh, Jimmy, always by uh, her side. Mm -hmm. and uh, Isabel, the president of Santo Domingo Iloxo Kusura organization. organization. Yes. Uh, so excited. In fact, I can almost place myself there because, um, you know, when you are doing service uh, mm -hmm. for someone, you can really get lost, you know, doing uh, the Lord's work and also sharing your blessings with others. It really humbles you. Mm -hmm. So, um, you can relate to that, yes. right? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Because I, I think if you have something, and it, whether it's small or big, you mm -hmm. wanted to give to um, less fortunate people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just see their smile. Mm -hmm. It's very um, uplifting and it's really rewarding. So, I think um, giving back to the community, not just here, but also back home, mm -hmm. it's a little more meaningful, I think, for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it stems back from your upbringing. Yes. Uh, I remember right. a conversation with your grandmother yes. who uh, shared a lot, right? Yes, very uh -huh. generous mm -hmm. um, to the old barangays, mm -hmm. feeding mm -hmm. everybody Christmas Day, mm -hmm. New Year's Day fiesta. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's really good to give back again and, and continue that. Always a reason to celebrate. Correct. Yeah. Um, let me ask Jimmy, since uh, he had a chance to go with you on the trade mission, mm. uh, with your um, observations. Ambassador. Yeah, ambassador's uh, <laughs> yes, tour. Sorry. Yes. Uh, what were some of your observations? And if you could make oh, a difference, gosh. Jimmy, uh, that you're able to do while uh, you return, mm -hmm. what, what would that be? You know, I went on that trip with an open mind, and mm -hmm. one thing I realized is, you know, the ambassador trip, so everywhere we went, we got greeted by either children or the local people that we were visiting, and they mm -hmm. were waving the American flags, mm -hmm. and they're just mm -hmm. so happy and so grateful that we were there. It's just like, oh, so uplifting and mm -hmm. so warm in your heart. And You were welcome. Oh, so welcome, mm -hmm. and they're so happy with what little that they have, mm -hmm. you know, and so all these places that we went to visit, and it was really touching. and. Uh, really fulfilling, mm -hmm. you know, from a standpoint of just giving back and seeing how they live and how mm -hmm. we live and, you know, uh, really, really saw that on that trip. Mm -hmm. And um, I think kind of that was kind of a little bit of our inspiration. We kind of already started this project for wow. for the medical mission, but, you know, that really kickstarted us to even go a little harder and making mm -hmm. it a success and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. getting the support that we would like to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, there's always a need to adopt children. And since you only have your one and only son, <laughs> uh, did that ever come to your mind? I'm saying that because I work with the orphanage. Uh, you know, that's one of our benefactors. Right. And thank you for yes. including um, St. Joseph Orphanage. Mm -hmm. uh, you're probably going to fall in love with some of the uh, mm -hmm. young children over there. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you want a little girl. They have a lot in uh... <laughs> we, might, we might fall in love with one and bring one back. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to start thinking about names. I, I thought I should do, just throw oh, that. Gosh. You know? Yeah, because yeah, you need somebody to spoil, right? Uh, <laughs> exactly. 
that's not so far out there that we might not, uh -huh. we wouldn't do it, but for sure, we yeah. you know we want to love. We want to sponsor them all. We want to yeah. love them all and right. give them all as much we can. Oh, that's yes. good. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so. um, that is very common, Isabel, when we sponsor, especially through uh, mm -hmm. scholarship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's that's what we do with the uh, six school uh, district that that we. Uh, uh, always sponsor every year mm. with our uh, yearly fundraiser. Oh, nice. Yeah, yes. we we mm -hmm. pay for their uh, yearly tuition mm -hmm. uh, so that they too can uh, uh, move up to higher mm -hmm. education. Correct. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of need for that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's amazing, you know. Like um, I'm from Santo Domingo, and um, a lot of um, my sponsors and people that gives donations. Mm -hmm. Well, we have our Santo Domingo, of course, our town mates, but most of them are just our friends or colleagues mm -hmm. that when they hear medical mission or something, they like, oh, I want to help, right. you know. They, they, they're they always so willing, yeah? Yeah. Regardless mm -hmm. of the location. It doesn't yeah. matter, you know, where mm -hmm. they're from. You know, mm -hmm. you know, they could be Chinese, Japanese, they mm -hmm. donate because they know it goes for a good cause. And right. um, I think that if people trust you and they see what you do, it really makes a big difference because they have faith in you that, okay, you know, this is all I can give, but I'm sure you can buy something with right. it, mm -hmm. you know. Right. And, yes. you know, we don't turn on small amount, big amount. Sure. Yeah. Every little bit helps. helps. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, That's really what true. I normally do before I go back and uh, do my charity mission is that I normally send maybe about five boxes, sometimes more, depending. And uh, that box is usually filled with lots of goodies, yes, cookies, exactly. yes, uh, candies. Yes, but yes. of course, a lot of that is school supplies. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. something that uh, they always welcome, mm -hmm. and it's always something that they will be able to use as mm -hmm. part of their uh, learning. So, you know, I, I thought I would throw that in. Perhaps, oh, yeah. uh, Jimmy, you mm -hmm. might want to pack. Couple of boxes. Yeah. And then um, things they like. one one year I I bought uh backpacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was like a reward mm -hmm. for, you know, the scholars mm -hmm. to oh, get true. them to really to true. do better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that the next time I go back, like I said, Oh, here's the lady, I better get mm -hmm. good grades. Yeah. I, I Santa want Claus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is true. Mm -hmm. And you know, we went to, when we went the last um mm -hmm. last July when we gave the school supplies to the kindergarten mm -hmm. site was really, really re rewarding. Mm -hmm. They're so excited. Mm -hmm. Just even with just a pencil coming from here and pants mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. pants. Okay. State side. You know, it's yeah. imported. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, state side, uh -huh. yeah, you're right. So they're really, really happy, mm -hmm. like knowing that coming from outside of the Philippines and this is like the brands like, oh yeah, I know Crayola mm -hmm. and whatnot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, they get so excited. Preschool. Yes. Well, kindergarten. Kindergarten, yeah. kindergarten, yeah. Mm -hmm. We give 150 mm -hmm. school supplies mm -hmm. to um, 150 kindergartens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so along uh, with uh, the medical missions, sometimes we, we combine it with feeding mm -hmm. because you only have a short time span to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know that when we went, we didn't take lunch break. Instead, we opened up and uh, mm. served and fed everybody mm. Mm, uh, right, during right. lunch. And that's why that was part of the attraction, too, because mm. mm. they wanted to come and partake of the food, no matter how simple that is. Oh, and, yes. you know, nice. um, uh, at one point, we uh, prepared like a long burrito table. Yes. For mm. uh, everybody. everybody we didn't have right. a place for everyone to sit, but, you know, they Just got a paper it. plate yep. and they, they went and... Right. Mm -hmm. what That's they wanted idea. from the, the table so so many ways that you can you yeah, can do yeah. yeah. there yeah mm -hmm. there's so yeah. many mm -hmm. and i think um this project not just um our major benefactor right mm -hmm. here the santo domingo we also have few mm -hmm. um that we chose like mm -hmm. your our yes village, and I, of i'm course. so thankful for that and we are going there mm -hmm. we are going um um, to your Ilocos, Ilocos Norte, Norte mm -hmm. and that's Lawag, mm -hmm. right? So we're gonna go to Lawag. So we 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 first first time we're gonna see these children, and we're gonna go to homeless as well. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go children with disability and children with cancer. So so please <laughs> support this medical mission, support this benefit show. Mm -hmm. um, it, it doesn't stop on the 
um, Gabby Conceptions um, beneficial. Mm -hmm. But if you do would like to donate, <laughs> mm -hmm. please do so. How, how could they do that? Yes, yeah. you can actually. Um, we have the. Um, phone numbers on the flyers for Gabi, ng pagbibigay mm -hmm. for Gabi. We have all four numbers there mm -hmm. um, that you can contact and you can actually make payable either to organizations directly mm -hmm. or to Leia Liwanag. Mm -hmm. So if they uh, wanted to donate uh, clothing or, mm -hmm. you know, maybe school supplies, is that is that welcome or is it just oh, monetary uh, We never donation? turn down anything. Yes. Uh -huh. Everything's welcome. Vitamins, anything. We can pay for the box. The, the yes. Other yes. Box. yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Every, oh, vitamins uh -huh. for children yeah. and adults. Yes. Those mm -hmm. are... Welcome. You know, it's Very all welcome. welcome. Yeah. Appreciate it. Clothing, mm -hmm. yes. We, In fact, when, when we're there, we regret that we didn't collect enough, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because you do run out, right. you know? Uh -huh. yeah. And you feel like, oh, I wish I, sh I, sh I should have brought more. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. So uh, how could they contact you, Isabel? Um, you can call me on my phone. Okay. <laughs> yes, you can go ahead and do that. 808-223-2888. Okay, repeat Thank it one you. more time. 808-223-2888. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it also helps to have like a official drop-off uh, mm -hmm. station so that, yes. you know, they don't have to wait for you to uh, get together with them. Let's, mm -hmm. let's say you designate a restaurant to help out, mm -hmm. let's say, Kambingan. Mm -hmm. If exactly. they want to help, they oh, can yeah. come yes. to Kambingan. And, uh, I'm sure Nana Lita will put in mind. <laughs> Bring drop their, drop she actually there. helped us the first day of our medical mission. Uh -huh. She was there. Uh -huh. oh, okay, she, she doesn't came. just cook. And dance. She mm -hmm. came, hello, and she danced. No, she, we, yeah. uh, no, that's, that, that's the thing. Is because it's kind of like um, it's like a benefit, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, at the end of our medical mission, because we do have all these guests mm -hmm. from different states, mm -hmm. and to show appreciation, even though they paid for their dinner, mm -hmm. um, Westlake Hotel they gave us this beautiful dinner, um, our final night, and mm -hmm. we had a. Uh, a gala event. Yes, Every, a celebration. You know, we had Filipiniana and Nana just danced the night away. Yeah, she's got Everybody a DI left, man. but yeah. her and her DI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, you need a DI. I know. I don't <laughs> no, know. No, 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 no. She provides DI. Did oh, she provide them for you? Yeah. Okay. So you look good on that. She will have extra DI. Line. Yes. <laughs> Well, it's been a fun uh, show, and uh, I want to thank all three of you for the empowerment thank and you. encourage you to uh, keep sharing your blessings with others. Yes. Just wanted to mention also mm -hmm. that we're also supporting the Ohan Medical um, Group as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's, mm -hmm. that's so awesome. So you're fulfilling your uh, legacy that you want to leave behind Trying as, <laughs> as Mrs. Hawaii Filipina. Mm -hmm. And we commend you for that. Oh, thank you. Keep up the remarkable job. You are very loved and well liked. And mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy, thank you for being so supportive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, did uh, you eat the last time? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I'm still on my own <laughs> challenge. <laughs> uh, All right. Maybe this You got to come back and tell us about okay. your balloon session. Okay. That will be the next show. <laughs> Isabel, uh, please thank continue you, to uh, mm -hmm. lead and be a great example thank you. for mm -hmm. others. Uh, we need to wrap up. Uh, that takes care of all the time here on Pinoy Power Hawaii. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host. Tune in again next time for another show of Empowerment. And we say maraming salamat po and mabuhay.